Welcome to the episode of Pick and Pop, where you talk about the intriguing topics in sports and pop culture. It's your boy MJ, and today we got Jules in the house. Hey. We got Demetra in the house. Hey. Woo! Lego. In another case of Floridians do the darndest things, check out this Chinese restaurant that attempted to thaw raw meat in a passerby's reaction. Had the little Chinese place. Look what he got the meat throwing out of it. Ew. Hold on, I just want to address that it says Uncle Pookie. Ah. Un- Un- Uncle Pookie underscore A13. Right? That's the crack detective down there in Florida. Hello, Uncle Pookie. Ah. I'll just say. A video posted on Instagram appears to show a Port Ritchie restaurant. What I'm curious about is what kind of meat is that? Oh, yeah. I-, I-, I think it's like some straight beef. Yeah, it looks like or some pork. Like, it's or, not or, any meat that I've seen. Oh. No? They got the meat throwing up. I can't this nasty insane. What is that? So well, that's rad. a big, yeah, that, that looks like a, a whale's heart. That's yeah, it's a like big a football shape. Yes, <laughs> it's no. like a hunk of meat. Thawing meat and other frozen food outside. Oh no! <laughs> what is that? I, I'm not sure. They deep frying a, <laughs> a like sponge. A, yeah, <laughs> that looks like a say sponge. Like a squirrel with all right. its fur. Oh, yes, no. yes. Oh my god! <laughs> Subscribe to, to Matthew, Matthew Jordan, Jordan presents. presents. The video is shot by a worker looking for a hose to fill up his bucket. Yeah, I was like, whoa. I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is this? Yeah, that, that that wasn't cool at all. <laughs> Girl, how do you always find these types of people to interview? That's, all, that's what I'm trying to say. This no. what you serve people? No. You cook that for people? No, we wash it. Y'all wash the meat in there? Well, that's dirt. That sink, that sink is dirtier than the um. It's dirtier than the, the, the meat. <laughs> that sink is dirtier than the meat. The video also documents what appears to be food stored on the floor. Uh, y'all got noodles right there. Y'all got the meat on the floor in here. What's their rating? I want to know. What what rating do they have? Yeah, well, they, well, they're, closed, they're closed yeah. down, down. When an employee attempts to take the meat back inside, White objects. No, take that meat to the dumpster. Ma'am, why is you putting that meat? You're going to serve that meat to people. You need to take that to the dumpster right there. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, dude, yo, dude's like, what, what, you, what you mean? That's that's dinner, baby. We showed the video to food safety expert and former health inspector Danielle Egger. We're dumping our mop water in that sink. We're dumping chemicals in that sink. That's wild. Someone's gonna die. Mop, like. mop water and chemicals. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's wild. Records show Lee's Chinese Kitchen has failed to meet state inspection standards on eight out of their last ten inspections since 2018. How did it take them? two years to like close down there. Wow. They yeah, that's bad. Who's following this up? Gordon oh, Ramsay. Yeah, yeah. Where's Gordon <laughs> Ramsay? Call him up. He needs to go to this restaurant. Come help your boy at Lee's <laughs> Kitchen in Florida. This man who works in the same strip mall came outside and ordered us off the property. Okay, stop filming. Okay, now. Wait, is that the owner? <laughs> is that stop filming? He owns the strip now. Mall. No, we're not stopping filming. We're not stopping. Oh, oh, oh. Man, man. Hey, man, what you doing? Why are you tripping? I'm going to oh, throw it. Oh, no. What did he do? He went like this, like he was going to use a microphone yeah. to, like, protect himself. Who are you with? Doesn't matter who I'm with. He said, who, who are you with? Who are you with? <laughs> yeah, I like, know. You're like, for somebody. Like, like, some, like, like some Oscar powers. Mafia what? <laughs> who do you work for? <laughs> And while not everyone was happy, <laughs> that's a gang of auto. So that's like, disgusting. I'm not from America, but all I hear is about Florida being crazy. Yeah, that's why yeah. I said. I really want to go to Florida. Yeah. It's got my gallery, I mean, I got, it's got I, them drugs, got this I was saying. <laughs> now we all know the passion people have for Chick-fil-A, but check out these college students from New York who bought a plane ticket just so they could buy some Chick-fil-A at the airport. And unfortunately, the closest Chick-fil-A is at the Albany International Airport, past security. So so the team bought the cheapest one-way ticket they could find, got through security, and placed the order. Wait, they don't have Chick-fil-A in New York? Well, I guess where they are, like the nearest one's like 150 miles away. Oh, I so see. So the only they option. They Uber Eats? <laughs> I know. <laughs> long Uber Eats, right? I wonder how much that would cost. I think they pay like $98 for it or something. Surely like less than 90, $98. I know, for, like, to, for the get ticket. A, yeah, to get on a flight. Oh, no, gosh. Like, like a one-way ticket. It included 15 Chick-fil-A sandwiches and more than 150 nuggets. Look at all that. The price tag, more than $220. That is some dedication. 150 nuggets? It was $227. But then it's going to be cold when you like get back. Like the plane ticket? No, no, no. $227 on top of the $98 oh, for the plane ticket. Oh, wow. And he got cheers. And apparently it was the first time he'd been in an airport. You see how they're heroes. They're local heroes in their community. You see this, Demetra? <laughs> see, 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 see the clapping? Yeah. 
It's wow. A, it's a, they got all 15 people giving Look at that guy's jumping over there. It's I'm always. like, uh, have fun with that Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Hope it was worth it. For all of you out there who sometimes hear voices, you're not the only one. Check out the story of this family in Illinois. One suburban family has been hearing music and voices through a wall. The strange sounds have been keeping them up at night off and on for about six years. Six years? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God. Much of the broadcast in their young daughter's bedroom. There are voices in the wall. Is this like Parasite? <laughs> <laughs> One yeah. night voices in yeah. the wall are moving out. Six years? You're like, Heck no. no. voices in the wall. <laughs> No, no, but yeah, like when I first heard the story, I'm like, yo, this is definitely Parasite. Yeah, Parasite. We're, we're mm -hmm. like, so, someone's living underneath. You don't know about it. Yeah. They, they don't want to know. They don't need to know. Yeah. And it's chilling. Brianna's father, Richard, captured some of the late night noise on his phone. You can hear the commentators or the pastor's voice in the wall. Pastor? pastor? Oh, it's Christian oh, no. <laughs> Straight, I would hire an exorcist. Uh, what? Smith called the Lockport police, who took two detailed reports about the bizarre problem. In one, the officer noted that he could hear voices and music talking about Christ. Then the officer said he heard a commercial for the Christian radio station, AM 1160. <gasps> yeah, yeah. yeah, they're trying to convert you. Smith says AM 1160, owned by Salem Media Group, Salem Media Group. I don't want to say conspiracy, but what I know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he said, I, I got to be honest with you. I don't know what's acting as a speaker. Look at his Christmas sweater. <laughs> I just can't help. Is it cold in Illinois? <laughs> he says the Federal Communications Commission was unable to help. And you're saying this is not that uncommon. It, it doesn't happen all the time, but it does. It does? Hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on. He just asked you a specific question. He said, it doesn't happen all the time, but, but it, does. it does. So does it happen or does, does it not happen? Is it rare or is it not rare? Did you say, oh, so it's not that rare? I was like, well, yes. It's rare, I was but like, it's not. Hold on, bro, make up your mind. <laughs> it's, it's, AM's a wild thing. AM's a wild thing? Wow. I've never thought that about oh, AM radio before. Okay, bro. AM's wild. F wild. You know, they're cool, but dang, AM, as soon as you start hitting those 200s, things get crazy. Ooh, they got a mind of its own. Patrick Berger is the director of engineering with Cumulus Media. Berger says the Smiths may have to hire an experienced engineer to pinpoint the issue using special tools to measure the signal and block it. What does special tools mean? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right. Bring special tools into your daughter's bedroom. What yeah, are you doing? Oh, oh. <laughs> Berger says an expert can also check inside the wall for corroded piping or ductwork. I feel like they should just move. I know. Like, that's not that expensive in Illinois. Right. <laughs> Smith says after years of on and off disturbance, he and his family are desperate. I fall asleep in my parents' room. For a silent night. Aww, that's okay. I used to do that all the time. I used to do that all the time. I turned out just fine. So you good, girl. Yeah. You good. I think it's more the parents' sex <laughs> Six years. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Dang, brother. That's why you all upset, brother. <laughs> I know. That's why you mad. An only child. That's yeah. why you mad. Sometimes when we think we've arrived at a solution, the next season comes around. Next season? Wait, hold on. What you? Yeah. What Wait, you, what? It's definitely going on. Oh. They fly like middle for the winter. Yeah. The ghosts. Oh. Gwyneth Paltrow's lifestyle company called Goop comes up with some pretty interesting products, but check out this candle she recently featured on Jimmy Kimmel. So this is the product that we're talking about, but it's a real product. For sure. It's a candle. Oh, oh yeah, course, yeah. I saw scented. this. What is with Gwyneth Paltrow and her vagina things? What and is I, her vagina like? <laughs> I need to know what this I mean, smells do, like. Do you too, really want to know? Is that, is that... I, I think I do because she's yeah. requiring some serious TLC for it. <laughs> oh, so, I, mean, you, I mean, it smells like a vagina. I mean, you don't really know what you're gonna get. It's like a box of chocolates, right? True. <laughs> came up with this idea? What maniac came up with this? A French person? Oh my gosh, he's gonna smell it? Yeah, he's gonna smell he's it. He's gonna stick his nose right in there, Jimmy Kimmel, you little freak. So they didn't do any like testing or anything like that to try to... It is actually yeah, 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 Jimmy is like... Yeah, I told you, yeah, yeah, right let, me get, let me get a sniff before I light it and after I light it. See, there's a difference. It smells a little bit masculine, really. Like it's, it has like kind of woody, like uh, I don't know. Masculine? Oh no! What you know about that, Jimmy? Yeah, what does masculine smell what, what like? Does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? This is 2020. What's that mean? Does that mean a man was there? What does that mean? <laughs> oh is that, is that what you smelling, Jimmy? But it doesn't really 
You know what I'm saying? You can tell he's trying to be so careful because it's ABC. Yeah. And he's not on the man show anymore, so he can't just say whatever he wants. Uh, he's kind of like, like, girl, it doesn't smell like fish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah what's up, yeah. girl? In my experience. That's what everyone's <laughs> wondering. Right? And then, and then and his wife is watching real closely. His wife is just like, what yeah. you about to say? What uh, you about yeah. to say? Because yeah. you've been with me for like you 20 years. You want to be divorced again? Again. Yeah. What's up? So uh, get out there and buy these candles. And now it's time for the Vial Victor of the Week. The Vial Victor of the Week goes to Grumpy Baby. Uh, what's oh, he up? came out the womb like that? Straight swag. What's <laughs> up, B? He looks mad. He's very purple. They all come <laughs> right? out like color. I mean, he looked hella angry. My dude is just like, <laughs> why you wake me up? There are all these memes that were coming out. Put me back Put in me there me right back. now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Demetria looks at her. She's just like, what am I looking I'm, at? I'm looking at that curly ass umbilical cord. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was looking at too. Look at that. That, that looked like some noodles from, Ooh, from, from Lee's oh, Chinese say. Restaurant Lee's in Florida. Chinese Yo, restaurant. those are the noodles from Lee's Chinese Restaurant, I right? And the meat. Oh, oh my God. That is the roast. <laughs> That's the roast, Demetria. That's where they got it. Thanks for watching another episode of Pick and Pop. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Till next time, woo, let go. Bye. Bye.